Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue building the ultimate tsunami survival boat capable of withstanding the worst of the worst tsunamis and storms this game brings on. Let's get started here. Today we're going to be adding an escape pod and more to this boat. Let's bring you to the workbench and get started here. So inside the back here we actually have a whole bunch of room right here and we were all thinking of an escape pod that would launch out of the top of this thing just in case there was an emergency. So I guess that's what we're going to be doing today. So first things first we need to go ahead and put a hole in the top of this thing where this thing's actually going to launch out of. So I think right there that would definitely definitely be large enough maybe even on the side here we could have it like that but we need we need a watertight door covering this entire thing so water doesn't spill in but we're gonna waterproof the inside here just in case it does spill in and the hatch does break because that does indeed happen in this game so let's go ahead and waterproof these pipings right here so water cannot spill in the engine room that would not be good and then we have our coolant pumps here which are in the way unfortunately so we're just gonna have to delete that and then let's grab a pipe angle so this will angle the pipe like that there we go all right it is all waterproof in there i think we should start on like a door so we need like a door for this thing i don't know how we should exactly do this let's go ahead and grab ourselves a door frame and let's put it towards the outside so these we can see these arrows and we have to do this on every corner here hopefully we have enough room to actually make an escape pod come out of this because this is really going to be tight it is waterproof which is nice there we go we got the frame done now we need to actually do the panels so this is going to be the interesting part here so we got to add corner panels on each of the corners of course this is actually looking quite nice i wonder how this is going to look when it opens i hope it looks good there we go we got our door here let's go ahead and cover it up with some normal blocks because those are waterproof so how do we do this um seal state on slash off indicates if the door panel is closed and forming a seal oh okay so that doesn't actually open the door and we actually have to do this real quick so we actually have to disconnect it because we we can't have a door on the same logic part obviously so let's go ahead disconnect it and then pre-paste it there so now if we click merge it is a complete separate body all right then we got ourselves a door thing so this is actually what's going to open the door this is very large way larger than i thought so hopefully this goes to plan so we're going to have it right here so we have to clear three blocks out of this entire thing so let's delete those there we go three blocks are deleted let's rotate it the correct way there we go we got a door hinge there it should open let's go ahead and merge that and then we need a button to actually open it so we're just gonna put a random button we're just gonna put a button on the top here um we'll put it like somewhere else all right we got our microcontroller here so this button will enable the microcontroller i can't see the actual angle that this thing will turn out so we're just gonna put it um on will be one and off will be negative one so hopefully that's correct i really don't think it is but if it isn't we'll just swap it okay it's definitely already open okay we're gonna want it closed and it's actually opening the wrong way so let's go ahead and do off has to be zero and then i think on has to be one so i think it was a little bit correct but it kind of really wasn't working there it was open when we spawned it but now it's looking more promising it is closed looking good okay let's go ahead and open it once we stop going underwater here all right let's go ahead and open it test it and it is opening okay perfect i honestly really like that and then we could have something in here that could like shoot out the top that would be super crazy to witness but hold on let's go ahead continue building this we need to put this in like an important area because this is the escape pod so this would be like the final plan if everything's broken so this might be a little extra but we're gonna put our logic on a robotic pivot if you know what that does it basically makes it a different subgrid so if this part of the boat gets damaged it will not spread to the subgrid so this is a very good safety measure on certain things like planes and boats and actually i built air force one and all my logic is on a subgrid just in case so no bullets or anything really should hit it but if it does it will definitely do damage but here we go let's merge the logic to that and there we go this should never get broken unless this directly gets shot by like a missile or something which really shouldn't happen we got our escape pod cover here let's start actually building the escape pod this is going to be quite interesting so first things first we need to grab like a linear track so this thing can slide out when it launches we don't want it to launch like sideways that's the last thing we'd want to do here so let's go ahead and sorry not a linear track we need a sliding track connector so here we go we're gonna grab a sliding track connector this is what we wanted instead we're gonna paste this here so it's on a different subgrid there we go okay this escape pod has to all be on a different subgrid let's make sure we have enough room to fit through there i don't know if we could fit through there with a block so we're gonna put this as like a corner wedge because as you can see when we look up it's kind of at a corner there so i don't think a square block would fit so we want to be extra safe here we don't want to be hitting the edge when we escape that would be so bad and then we're only going to have like two blocks of inside room so nothing really crazy it's going to be really small and tight and maybe even a bit scary but we're going to have all the emergency supplies in this thing that we should need so it shouldn't be that bad 
But here we go. We got the outside of the escape pod done. We should probably be doing this in all like orange because we want this thing to be orange on the outside so everyone can see that this is an escape pod and we are probably needing help. Now that we got the bottom of it done, we kind of need to add a floor here that might be necessary. I don't know how the seating is going to work because I don't think this is tall enough to really add a seat, but we definitely need to have a seat. I can tell you that. So we'll figure it out in a second here. We just need to make this go up. It's not going to look like a box like this. We're going to add windows and stuff, of course. So add all that fun stuff. Let's add the ceiling here. This is just the ceiling for now, not the permanent ceiling. And then we need to add the flooring in this thing. All right, there we go. Now we need to grab a seat. So a seat is actually too big. So we need to grab a normal padded seat and a padded seat does work. So let's go ahead and start adding like some design and windows in this thing. So I think right here would be a nice spot for a window. Maybe actually just right here. A uh, little one by two window here because we can't have a corner on an edge like that. So there we go. We're going to add a window like that. Add some design to it, of course, because we don't want it to be like perfectly flat. That looks a little weird. There we go. We got some design going on with it. All right. As you can see, we got some design going on with this part right here, but we do need to add a door still. So that's definitely an important part. So we need to put a door right here. Um, it needs to be waterproof. So this is going to be quite interesting since it's a really small space we're doing this in. I think we need to make the escape pod a bit bigger. So what we're going to do here is do a little smart thing here. So we're going to go ahead and extend this, put it one block this way. So this will definitely benefit the escape pod more. Um, we definitely would not be able to do anything if we had it the same size we were doing it. So let's go ahead and merge all this stuff together. Keep making it waterproof because waterproof is like one of the most important things in this entire operation so i think we had it like all right so as you can see it's a little bigger now um we need to test it and see if it works of course so let's go ahead and paint it real quick so it still looks normal let's go ahead and test it so hopefully it still works but you never know we always have to test it and it does work and we do see our little escape pod in there bring it back to the workbench and we actually need to bring this um linear thing back or this um track because the track was actually in our way too so let's bring that back here and then what we're going to do with this escape pod is actually like cut it in half but like rotate it and bring it closer towards the wall over here just so we have more room to work with all right we got the escape pod extended it's looking much bigger and better now so let's go ahead and even this side out because it is looking a little wonky over here and then we also need to delete this this wall right here which is connected to the window so let's go to make this look nice like that there we go and we also need to design this side we want it to be like the same on all sides just so it looks similar i don't want to do too much design because it's just an escape pod it's nothing really that crazy there we go we're going to add a door on this side so what we need to do here is actually probably make a ceiling and then here let's go ahead and grab a hatch so a hatch is definitely going to be necessary. We don't want it to be electric because that's not going to work. And there we go. We got our hatch here. Let's put it. Um, where should we put? We, we'll put it on the bottom. So just like that. So hopefully this when this thing lands in the water, it like kind of floats. But I don't know if this door is going to be like available when it is floating. So this is just going to be quite interesting to see this thing float for the first time. But I'm not expecting anything crazy. Actually, what we're probably going to do instead is make the hatch one block more out just so we have more room in the inside for like equipment because this is honestly super tight and it, it would definitely not work if we had it like that but here we go it's looking quite nice now but we actually need like rockets in this thing to propel us upwards so i don't know where we're gonna put those at but we need to figure that out and then with this thing's entire roof we're gonna make it a parachute so this thing can safely glide down to the ground without um absolutely destroying itself so hopefully this parachute helps we got the parachute there let's go ahead and select it and parachute size we're going to put it to 100 this has to be a big parachute and we need to be able to see it when it actually um, deploys and then we actually need this escape pod to be a little bit bigger so we're going to move everything over on these sides because we're going to extend the escape pod one over on the sides here including these um our intakes here so let's go ahead put our intakes all on right here and then delete these piping things going towards it and then the pipes actually now can just go straight up. So I don't know why we did, didn't just do that before, but I guess that was an issue of some sort. So there we go. We got that done. And now we're going to extend it. We got to select all of this stuff, copy it and bring it back one. There we go. And then we're going to do it on the same side like this. There we go. So now we have much more room we're going to be working with. But now I have to like connect all this stuff back up. There we go. We got it all added. Let's go ahead and finish this paint on the escape pod over there. There we go. All right. It is much larger now, so we could definitely extend the escape pod. The only problem we're going to have right now is this entrance. So this entrance is honestly in a really bad spot. I don't know what we should do with this gaming computer. Maybe we could move it over a single block. That would probably work a little better. All right. We extended it. So let's go ahead and add some rockets on this thing. So let's get a rocket. We need to have a rocket booster on both ends here. So we should probably 
delete that on both ends on symmetry there we go and then we're gonna put it on the bottom here so there we go rocket booster like that and then we need fuel so we're gonna put a little bit of fuel like that so we'll line it up like that we don't want it to be too high because we don't want to like go in the atmosphere let's go ahead and put a button inside of this thing hmm, where should we put this button at um someone might be having to stand up in the escape pod because there just isn't enough room in this thing um okay we can't even put the button there what about right here um i don't know that kind of mess up the design though or maybe just on the floor the floor would work but this is just for now this isn't the final look for it so this will activate all these who launch these in the air and there we go um do you think this would work no because it needs a battery in this thing to actually power it so let's put a battery in here all right we got the battery you can't see it but it is right here in the floor so some cool stuff let's do that to activate the button and um should we see if this works i think we should put this button here actually like inside of the escape pod that's probably a better idea let's just move it in here because it's definitely safer in here so let's do that and let's put it in the floor right here so that's a perfect spot let's go ahead and merge it and connect it to our battery in this thing and now this should work go ahead and spawn it in test if this works um it might it might not you never know um what we forgot to do is merge these when we spawned it in it absolutely flooded but here we go now it should work we forgot to color some of that stuff but that's fine let's see if we can actually enter the escape pod room through this i really don't think so um oh we can okay that's perfect and then we get in the seat here get out of the seat close the door and get back in the seat um, open the door like that and it didn't work so what we'll have to do we'll just have to put the button in here and it will open the outside escape pod door hopefully that button never gets damaged um maybe we'll add like a backup one somewhere but here we go we're gonna open the escape pod door get in the back right here we have to do it fast just so it doesn't flood get in here get in here fast this is an emergency we're about to die totally all right activate key button will it work oh there we go okay it does work okay i'm dying though i think we added a bit too much thrust but it does definitely work and then we would need a parachute to deploy after that go ahead and grab a delay here and this delay here where should we put it we'll just put it like right this thing wasn't even waterproof because we did um put a hole in it but let's fix that hole put a delay here this kind of looks stupid but that's fine um signal to delay delayed signal will be the parachute which will deploy that and this button here so how long should the delay be i would say about let's do 4.5 seconds on the delay so there we go we got all that working the parachute will deploy everything has electric let's go ahead and spawn it in test it again and see if this escape pod does work climb in the escape pod it's a little sketchy but it's fine it's we're in a boat escape pod it's honestly not surprising there we go all right we're in our escape pod right now you can kind of see my head going through the thing but here we go activate the button and there we go oh gosh what's going on we have a failed deploy uh-oh that definitely didn't go as planned something happened there oh i see the issue uh we didn't connect our sliding connector thing which was this thing and it was supposed to help it stay in place when it launched so now we got it connected hopefully it stays in place this time is the door open it is so let's go ahead and launch it and will it work there we go okay we're taking damage that's fine will the parachute open please open uh oh there we go the parachute is open it is orange this is working this was a success and we're gonna land on this island here which is really nice but i want to kind of land in the water so we can test if this is waterproof or not but there we go pretty hard landing um the door was not covered when we landed so we can get out um let's go ahead and actually make this door open from the outside because it's kind of in the way when it opens like that now what we're doing is just moving this door over one block hopefully that'll help us get in it easier that's just our goal here because it is like really hard to get into turn on the light and open the top hatch there we go it is open let's see if we can climb in here oh easily perfect um, the sink can't open all the way because the pipe's in the way. Oh, no. Okay, I have an idea to fix that. That's a pretty simple fix. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Grab a hose. Grab a hose anchor like that and like that. Where is it connecting to? Oh, my gosh. The exhaust wasn't even connected when we were doing that. So we'll do that and that we'll just put a hose on both sides so it's basically as simple as it gets and now what we can do here is grab a go in the logic menu, go to rope and we can actually attach that and fuel and air and all that stuff will actually go through that so let's see if we can actually go through it now it's right here there we go it's opening and now this thing isn't in our way because it is a hose um if anyone disconnects that that will definitely fail an engine but there we go it does open all the way let's climb in here close the hatch this is an emergency like this um we will take damage again but that's fine there we go we are in the air um it's going to bring us back on the island unfortunately but hopefully wait hold on it's going in the water here uh right, now we're gonna see if it's actually waterproof in here i hope it is that's would be good if it is but here we go 
We're in the water. Oh, this thing sinks. Oh no. Okay, well that's not what we wanted to see really. What I did now was added more room in the escape pod. So now we could maybe have two people in here. So let's go ahead and fill that gap in the floor that was supposedly there the entire time. Put another seat in here like that and then like that. So now here we go. Now we can fit two people. We're getting better. And nope, we're going straight to the bottom. What in the world? I don't know what's weighing that. Oh, we're floating back up. We're floating back up. Here we go. We got it to float. There is absolutely no way. Okay, we got this to float. And now we're going to add a blinking light on the top. So that will actually alert SOS services. We'll put blinking lights all over this thing to help this thing get located easier. We're also going to add a transponder in this thing. So if you know what that is, it's a definitely useful thing we're going to have in here. So that will be our transponder right here and then we're gonna add here what we can do is put the lights on top of these rocket fuel things like this and we'll put them red so blinking red lights that will all blink and there we go we can't put it on this one because there is something in the way i think right actually no we can put it like right there right now what we're gonna do is grab a blinker so let's go ahead and put a blinker in here somewhere oh my gosh it's like getting really tight in here with all of our logic and stuff okay blinking signal will go straight to these lights that is not a light control signal will go to this key button here and then it will blink every 0.4 seconds i think that will be here we'll do there we go we got it on a blinking signal now this should be quite good there we go and we're gonna go ahead and add electric to both of those lights and then we actually need to add electric to this transponder here well, we're gonna add some first aid in here same with some other stuff but just first aid for now we're going to delete this little design we got going on with that and put some first aid on the wall. This is much more important than whatever that is for. And then we're going to grab oxygen mask too, which we'll just put somewhere. Oh my gosh, there's like really not a whole lot of room in here. All right, I added some interior to this escape pod here. It's looking much nicer. We have a window on the floor, windows here, and windows on the back, of course. So now we can actually see outside of this thing. And then we have a flashlight, a transponder, and a ham radio there, just in case. What we're going to do right now is go ahead and spawn it in and actually save it real quick. We definitely want to save that. Spawn it in, and our screen is in black and white. So what we're going to do here, boat, and I did add some, like, first aid equipment in this top area here. So let's grab that. There we go. Hatch to open, and let's get inside this thing. This is honestly looking pretty sick. So here we go. We're going to get in here and prepare to launch, and we're going to launch this thing. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, there we go okay we're in the air oh my gosh it's so crazy in here it looks so crazy all right there we go our parachute is open we are so oh my god i really hate this spinning oh stop spinning i'm gonna throw up i'd so throw up in real life but here we go we're in the water will we stop spinning will it float back up to the top with all of our added equipment it is floating back up here we go here we go and then we do have these lights here so they can easily locate us and we should actually have it probably launch a flare the second it detects water that is pretty smart i went ahead and added a flare to this thing let's go ahead and launch it one more time here we go and once the parachute deploys it should launch this flare and there we go a flare has been shot let's turn Turn it to nighttime real quick so we can see it. And that is us. It did launch a flare straight into the water. So that is close enough to where we're at. That should definitely help rescuers. And then when we zoom super far out, you can still see our blinking light. But our flare is, of course, going to be brighter. But yeah, let me know in the comments what else I should add to this boat. This has been an absolutely crazy series. Also, let me know in the comments what we should build next. So I'm kind of thinking of like a submarine, something like that. Just let me know. But yeah, that's probably going to be it for this video. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye.